The battle droid army has returned to the Super Fortress, with reinforcements and new hero units available to them, including a commando raid on top of the Super Fortress by Cad Bane. Below them, the droid army is assembling to march up the very high and steep staircase that the clones control. There are two entrance points to the top of the fortress, each with a steep number of steps. The clone army awaits the droid ascent, and they will barrage them with laser fire. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Now let's get right on into this thing. Real quick, huge thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. They have literally the best deals in gaming. I use it all the time. If you like Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars for $2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for $9. One of my favorite Star Wars games, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, a buck 70. If you want to play the Star Wars Galaxy and War mod, Men of War Assault Squad 2, $3. Extremely popular games can be up to 99% off. Link in the description below. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video. Alrighty then, gamers. We're getting right on into this thing here with the Super Fortress map created by Warfare Gaming. Link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Be sure to go check it out and tell him I sent you. Either way, this is Wave 2 of the Droid Army Assault on this Super Fortress. Wave 1 ended up being able to take the exterior walls, but petered out at the top of the staircase here. So the droids are sending in Wave 2 here, which consists of many more hero units, as well as just a lot more infantry. And we have our first shots getting fired over this way against Asajj Ventress at the top of the stairs over here. And General Grievous quickly moves to meet her. Let's go in slow-mo until some more droids are dead so we don't face crippling lag during this battle but clone troopers just full firing into general grievous over here who has to pause and deflect a lot of those laser fire shots as more droids end up assaulting the little bunker over there on the left where there's more 212 clone troopers the clone troopers have been able to get reinforcements on the battlefield due to the droids failing their first assault and they're going to have the same clone trooper legions as before they've got the seventh sky core out here here, aka the 212th attack battalion division of said sky core uh, they've also got 501st troopers who were able to retreat back from the lower wall defense from the last battle and on top of that they still have the wolf pack at the peak of the fortress all right general grievous killing some clone troopers over this way and on the other side should be count dooku and yes he is inside wait let's get a good angle here he is inside the bunker over here dealing with clone troopers deflecting laser fire some droids try and interrupt over here one gets a nut shot on that clone trooper taking him down general or sorry count dooku kills another clone trooper right there one last clone trooper firing gets headshotted by a shotgun droid right there here's some of those 501st clone troopers i was talking about um and then of course up on the little plateau area over here we have the commando droids being led by cad bane now, it looks like the 212th over this way hasn't started to fire into them just yet. This little plateau would actually make for a really cool solo, like, bridge battle defense. I might do that in the future. That could be really, really cool to do. Um, but yeah, either way, all three Clone Trooper Legions are reinforced right now and uh, defending against a much more powerful droid invasion force infantry wise that is for sure here um and of course they do have their clone trooper commanders back here still arc trooper echo fives waxer boil rex keller and cody and jesse and wolf over this way uh defending the peak of the fortress along with their last stand wolf pack troopers up here ah and here we go the commando droids begin their assault on the plateau here firing out at the clone trooper army on the opposite side this is definitely the largest staircase fortress defense I have ever done on the channel. And I am very keen to see what ends up happening here. Once again, the droids coming forward with just so much infantry. They outnumber the clone troopers 6 to 1 in terms of infantry. I ended up counting. The clone troopers have 150 soldiers total and the droids have about 900 so yeah a pretty big discrepancy right there uh but already droids getting annihilated over here as the clones are able to just sort of free fire into them also the clones are going to have these turrets up here available yet again on the battlefield and last time they did some very very big things once the droids started to crest over these staircases here and i have a feeling they'll probably be able to do some serious damage once again but the droids have so many more avenues that they're assaulting 
assaulting from this time around. So many more hero units, they might just be able to crest over those walls and kill those turrets. How's it going down this way? All right, Asajj Ventress and General Grievous, have they captured this bunker here? Hold on. Yes, they've captured the bunker. They're working on clone troopers on the opposite side, finally starting to get some kills on these guys. Uh, and this is really just a preliminary defense of the first staircase. We weren't really expecting huge things from these clone troopers, so any kills that they get is going to be great. There was no stopping power here. You know, the droid army would inevitably be able to kill anything that was stationed over this way. So we did not have big expectations from these clone troopers in, uh, you know, uh, defending against the entire droid army and multiple hero units coming forward. But the fact that they've managed to kill multiple battle droids at once here is a fantastic uh, thing and you know going forward it'll be much easier for the top defenses over this way to go ahead and defend with limited droids coming forward due to their losses early on that's what we like to see also these clones here are doing a bang up job right now one of the e-web turrets is dead i don't think that is going to be remanable because the droids will just gun down anyone who gets out of cover over here um but they've killed a ton of droids under cad bane's command over here these commando droids are not having a good time right now at all i mean they're getting fired at from basically 180 degrees makes it pretty tough for them to assault that is for sure down this way count dooku has managed to eliminate the 501st and 212th clone troopers over here yeah and there is aura singh i don't know if i mentioned she's on the battlefield too she's kind of taking up the rear here how many droids ended up going down over here let's check it out all right red or dead droids yellow are dead clone troopers uh, quite a number of droids did end up going down over here, uh, but I would say probably more ended up dying on General Grievous and Asajj Ventress's side of things over there. All right, more 501st and 212th clone troopers up here defending against the next wave of droids coming on forward. They've eliminated the first clone trooper defense and now must take on the much stronger second clone trooper defense i'd say the third platform back here is probably actually the weakest uh and in terms of hierarchy it would go the second platform being the strongest the first platform being the second strongest and then the third is sort of the hail mary defense area uh so i really think that a lot of droids are going to die on this second staircase platform here general grievous comes up here and karate chops one clone trooper to death already uh, and more importantly is distracting a lot of the clones uh, who could potentially be shooting up these guys over here or these guys down below over this way so yeah this distraction is very very good here good timing by the droid general uh, and Asajj Ventress has joined him over here as well the thing is they're not able to actually kill a lot of clones because they're too busy having to deflect all of the clone trooper fire coming in but every once in a while they do manage to slice up a clone trooper here and there all right, Count Dooku has yet to come forward over this way, but most of these clone troopers are still fighting the commando droids down mid on that plateau over that way. So he could potentially just run his droids up here and not face too much backlash in doing so. 501st troopers firing down at hundreds of droids below them over here and hoping to get a few kills, uh, but Count Dooku is worming his way up. He's doing the worm. Also, Asajj Ventress, her sniper rifle is... Or, sorry... This is Aura Singh, not Asajj, Asajj Ventress. Her sniper rifle is absolutely brutal and could absolutely decapitate some clone troopers at the top of the fortress walls here, for sure. So that's something that these clone troopers have to look out for, dodging her shots. <laughs> I don't know if she's firing too much right now, but she definitely could be in the future and doing a lot of damage. Count Dooku makes it to the top and is now getting fired upon. Ah, bad camera angle. Ah, okay, there we go. He's uh, getting fired upon, but I saw a grenade go out there. It falls down the steps. Good try, droids. Good try, but uh, doesn't manage to do much. He ends up bursting through here and is now taking more shots from uh, the clone trooper army. More droids try and join him, but the explosion set off by, I believe, their own grenade ends up dropping a few of them to the ground, but not too much to worry about. It's, it's not the worst. Not too many were caught in there, and they do get to stand back up because it was their own grenade, and friendly fire doesn't do that much damage in this mod. Uh, yeah, 501st troopers continue to try and take on Count Dooku over here. He's doing, like, some Taekwondo stuff. He's doing crazy things in that old man body of his. <laughs> He's glitching out, man! And the droids come up to help him out. All right, how is Cad Bane doing over here? 
These two 12th clone troopers getting heavily suppressed. The second E-Web turret is down, and more clone troopers over this way are down as well. But Cad Bane himself has been defeated right now. So his commando droids are all alone up here. More of them getting dropped by DC-15X sniper rifles. Probably the only weapon in the clone arsenal that can one-shot right now. So that's why I assume they're DC-15X sniper rifles getting those kills. And it has to be a headshot really to make that happen right there all right but over here Asajj Ventress and General Grievous continue to mount up the walls here to relative success but I think with these cannons starting to fire away we're going to start seeing a lot more droid deaths I'm telling you I think these cannons up here are going to be the downfall of the droids so far the droids have done quite well with what they've had they've gotten a lot of kills they've taken minimal losses but those machine guns up there rattling off fire I think are going to eliminate a ton of the droids from contention at this point in time. And then at the very top here, they do have some more E-Webs they got to deal with and stuff like that. But these machine guns here are the true deadly killers of the clone army. They're extremely hard to kill too. I mean, the angle you have to get to actually hit these clones is going to be next level god tier Ooh, really nice droid popper right there from the clone trooper army takes out a number of droids very very easily right there but for the most part these 212 clones are getting heavily eliminated right now the rest of the droids are going to be able to help out the commandos over this way and take out more of these 212 troopers down middle as they come on up which is a good thing um there's a one single 212 trooper right here he does have some cover fire from those machine guns up there but i think he will inevitably end up going down i don't think he stands much of a chance here <laughs> this poor guy he's still crouching under cover droids are using his own sandbags for their own cover now and firing up at the machine gunners above them yikes uh, and more droids going down but this guy is still alive Ooh, that droid just died at his feet crawling to him oh but he finally goes down rip uh and these clones over this way going down as well which is going to free up those commando droids and so we will have these machine gunners up here being the sole clone trooper defense for some time coming up here let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here I think enough droids and clones have died on the battlefield that we can bump it up a speed, thankfully. we still probably got like a hundred or so of the commando droids left alive at this point, and definitely a few hundred um, battle droids, probably 400 or 500 or so B1 battle droids still managing to uh, fight on this battlefield. So the droids still doing well number-wise, but this is really where we're going to see if they can conquer the battlefield or not. Already a lot of them going down due to this oncoming fire from the machine gunners up on that wall there. Uh, a really, really devastating wall defense. That is going to be really, really hard to overcome, I have a feeling. This is this is rough. Let's see how many kills these clones already have. This guy has 8 kills. This guy has 12 kills. This guy has 13 kills. This guy has 12 kills. This guy has 7 kills. And this guy has 11 kills. Like 70 kills amongst these clone troopers up here already. Uh, and the droids haven't killed a single one of them yet. Yeah, this could be a serious grind fest. The droids are firing up at them, which is a very, very good thing. However, once again, actually nailing shots on these clone troopers is extremely hard, especially at this angle. It is going to be very, very brutal. So, yeah, this will be... Uh, the the deciding factor I think going forward the hero units for the droids also not really pushing forward if these guys you know Count Dooku General Grievous Asajj Ventress if they would push upwards and really start taking on these clone guns right now it would be a different story one of the guns goes down actually pretty early I'm surprised the other two over here and the other three over that way still very much alive though but one of them did go down this one's got 22 kills now this one's got 21 kills this one ended up with 22 kills this one now has 24 kills this one has 17 kills and this one has 14 kills so yeah even though one of them did go down the rest are still doing amazing things all of the laser fire is causing some lag here so we are going to go in slow motion yet again as these machine guns just take on the droid army coming forward over a hundred kills between all of them already which is extremely impressive a second one does go down right here though how many kills did it get before it went down 29 kills for that one my god that is insane these are big all-star numbers here from these machine guns 
firing at these droids down below. Look at this. Bodies hitting the floor left and right as the droids continue to try and get fire up at those clone trooper cannons. Brutality. I think the one way for the droids to come out of this with minimal losses beyond just firing up, which obviously is somewhat effective. Oh, another cannon went down here. Uh, is to run their hero units up, but they're not really doing that. This ended up getting 38 kills before going down. There's now only three machine gunners left alive at this time, but obviously their effectiveness has been proven because they have like almost 200 kills probably between all of them now. Uh, this one's got 18 kills. This one's got 33 kills. The last one over here has 29 kills. And uh, again, this one ended up getting 29 kills and this one had 22. So yeah, pretty crazy kills between all of them at this point in time. They're continuing to take crazy fire from the droids, but they're hanging in there. Why don't we time lapse this defense until all of them are dead and the droids can finally continue onwards. All right, so about four minutes passed right there, and only one of the cannons ended up going down so far. The droids are getting closer and closer to the staircase over here, but they're not actually assaulting it yet, and these cannons are still going hard. Let's check out the kill counts for them right now. This one's got 29 kills. This one's got 61. That is crazy. This one, again, ended up having 38. This one here ended up having 22. This one here had 29, and this one here had 33. Wow. So they really need to kill these two, and I think these are in the most protected locations, obviously, since they have not died yet. The droids obviously need to get forward here. Yellow are dead droids, red are dead clones. Uh, we do have a few droids glitching in the water. I'll go ahead and anti-derp them and get them up to that staircase, and we have the same thing happening here. Probably about a reinforcement of 20 or 30 droids. Nothing too crazy right there, um, but... Yeah, they really need to get up here. The hero units are really letting down the droid army, I would say, right now. Wait. Oh, okay, they're just shooting this because it's dead already. I don't know why they're doing that. That's kind of derpy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and time-lapse again from the droid perspective and see how they do. Okay, it's been another two minutes. The droid's still full firing up here. They do get another kill, which is good. Uh, 34 kills on this thing at the end of the day. This one now has 75. If it broaches 100, that would be insane. Uh, but right now, it it is targeting one droid over there instead of the multiple over this way. I did see a couple droids kind of getting on the staircase here, but they're still aiming at that thing, so I don't think they're going to crest over the staircase anytime soon. Let's see, we could probably bump it up a speed here. See if uh, droids can kill this guy a little bit faster. I just want to see when the droids end up going up the staircase, because these E-webs aren't as powerful as those guns, um, and they're also more exposed, but at the same time, they're going to have a choke point here. But the droids can take these other staircases as well, and they'll have hero units going into the choke point. Because um, I believe they, they're still alive. Yeah, Asajj Ventress is still alive here. She's lost a little bit of health. She probably regained a good amount of it. Um, Dooku is still alive here. He's got full health, so he probably regained it. Dooku has 10 kills. Asajj Ventress has 5. Hero units don't normally get that many kills, so that's kind of crazy. Grievous is in the wall here. He has 7. Actually, that, that's pretty impressive that the hero units are getting that many kills. Um, oh, and here's Aura Singh. She has none. Okay, that's surprising. Usually the gun hero units end up getting the most, but not today. All right, let's go into full speed here. I think it, yeah, we don't have too much lag going on. The droids are really struggling against this thing. I would just start attacking the wall and, and maybe try and just ignore it. <laughs> Might be the best thing they can do. They are getting hits on this thing every once in a while. It's just really hard. 83 kills for it. That is insane. Holy cow. That, that clone gun is going nuts. <laughs> this is... This is crazy. I don't know. 
what do you guys think we should name this character? Um, I Right now, off the top of my head, it's very stereotypical and kind of lazy, but Gunner <laughs> could be a good name for him. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below. A good... The, the comment with the most likes will be what we name him, alright? Um, my vote is Gunner, but, but you guys take your pick and comment down below what you think we should name him and then like the other names that you like the best, okay? That's what we'll do here. Um, oh, okay, a couple droids are attacking the top now. Um, and yeah, it's not a crazy choke point. Oh, because General Grievous is up here. He's already killed a Wolfpack Trooper. Okay, the droids still stand a chance then if they're coming up over the top here um, and not getting full fired at the choke point because General Grievous is out here. Um, of course, the clones are concentrating a ton of fire on him, so he could die pretty easily here. The easiest way to kill lightsaber units is grenades because they cannot deflect those with their lightsabers. So that would be what I would suggest the clones do is just grenade the crap out of them, but it's up to them. Um, this thing does finally go down. Uh, the mystery clone trooper name goes down and he ended up with 90 kills on this thing So in total this had 34 kills this had 90 this had 38 This had 22 this had 29 and this had 33 so that's over 200 kills well over 200 kills for all of those guns combined, which is crazy. I'd say the droids still have a few hundred soldiers left, and of course their hero units are left. This choke point is resulting in droid deaths, but right now a lot of the clone fire is concentrated completely on General Grievous, and Count Dooku is lurking right here, and if he bursts through, the clones have another hero unit to deal with right now, and they are not grenading General Grievous, so they are taking the slowest possible route to kill him right now. Uh, but at the same time, they are still killing droids over this way, so I'm not saying it's a totally bad thing. Dooku is running out there, so he might start getting shot at too. Yeah, honestly, that is the best thing the hero units for the droids can do right now is just distract the clone trooper army units. Distract, distract, distract. Let their droid infantry do the dirty work while the you know hero units end up taking all of the shots here. Is Dooku dead? Hold on. No, he's not dead. Okay. He's just, he's just being weird. <laughs> okay. A few clones have died now. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, although more droids are getting up to the top, and they are still full firing into Grievous over here, who has the double lightsaber, which I think does mean he can deflect a lot more fire. So that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. The full force of both E-Web turrets are on him, although he's behind Sandbag, so they might not be hitting every single shot on that guy right now. But yeah, they're not concentrating on the droids like they need to be. Dooku's running over there, too, now. This is actually pretty bad. This is actually pretty bad right here. I'm not gonna lie. This could be it for the clones. This, this could definitely be it. Oh, shoot. Wait, did Grievous go down? No, he's still alive. Oh, my God. Oh, my gubernatorial. Grenade them. Like, literally two or three grenades, and those two are dead. Oh, they slice up the clones right there. Yikes. Oh, my God. Oh, this is... Like, this is very, very not good. Oh, the droids are just up here now. No! This is not good. This is not good one bit. Ugh. I kind of thought the clones would clutch it up with those machine guns up top, but no. Uh, now it's getting really, really bad. Oh, God. Stop them! Kill them, please! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. 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 One E-Web turret has lost a gunner. The other one is about to lose a gunner due to General Grievous right here. My goodness. This is a uh, tragedy. The droids are losing barely any troops over this way. Come on, fellas. Come on, clones. I mean, this is bad. This is a poor showing from the clone trooper army currently. Big yikes, indeed. They gotta get some kills, dude. This is really bad. This is wicked bad. <laughs> no bueno. No bueno at all. Okay. Alright. Well. Yikes. <laughs> Can I get a yikes, boys? One E-Web turret is still alive, though, so, I mean, there's that. That's not too bad, and it's down. Okay, never mind. How are the droids doing? Like, are they just full? Okay, they're, they're losing a couple troops at the very least, and, uh, you know, the clone commanders are back here, and they've got, like, decent defenses set up with decent number of troopers. So there is that, but, yeah, I, I think it's Jover. I think the clones have lost this portion of the fortress. There is still, though, might I remind you, this bridge fortress back here that they will be defending in the next episode if they lose this. So, I mean, they've still got a chance. I did see a grenade go off. 
I don't know if that was a clone grenade or a droid grenade, but yeah, we needed those about 10 minutes ago, boys. <laughs> and you did not provide them, so... Yeah. Oh, droid grenade's going off there. I think this is it for the clones. I think they really choked this. They had such a lead going into this thing, and then they never grenaded... If they had just sent, like, two grenades into General Grievous, I'm pretty sure he would be dead. I actually, I almost guarantee it, because once they get grenaded once, they can shoot into their bodies, and uh, they aren't able to lightsaber deflect when they're down on the ground unconscious, so, yeah, I, I think if they had genuinely grenaded Grievous twice, they would not be in this situation. I think they'd be winning, but nah, they flopped it, they flopped it, and now the droids are just going to push through the wolf back here and get all of the kills, and then we're going to be going into phase three of the super fortress that Warfare Gaming has built for us here. Uh, which will, of course, be the bridge fortress over that way. That's what I'm anticipating happening. I mean, there's still a chance. As long as there's clone troopers alive, there's always a chance, but I think it is incredibly slim. So I am curious who you guys think we should have defending the third portion of the super fortress here. What legion, what clone trooper commanders, etc., etc., because right now, these clone commanders defending the peak of the fortress here are about to flop so unbelievably hard. Dooku and Grievous continue to go through. I don't know, how many kills do they have? Dooku's got 14, Grievous has 10. Normally, Sith are not this effective, but they are being incredibly effective this time around. Oh, Asajj Ventress has finally joined the peak assault here. I think it's just going to be clone commanders back here pretty soon. Yeah, the last of those clones dying. There's one. There he goes. And now it's going to be just clone commanders here. And uh, they're, they're just going to get wiped almost immediately. They're all suppressed right now. <laughs> so not not a good time. Uh, let's go fast forward here for just a second. Blah, blah, blah. Droids finally coming. Here we go. And boom. All right. Normal speed. Yeah, clone commanders are about to get absolutely rocked right here. <laughs> Keller's down already. These guys getting suppressed heavily. Uh, five Zora Echoes down. I can't tell which right now. Oh, they're pulling out their pistols. I hate when this glitch happens, man. I hate when they do that. I don't know why, but clone commanders are, like, glitched in the latest update for Galaxy of War. Hopefully they patch it in the next update, but it's been, like, over a year, I think, since we've had an update even. So, I don't know if that's going to be happening anytime soon. Yeah, it's Jover. Grenades going out. It's really Jover now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Cody and Rex, last two alive. They're getting killed here. <laughs> Tragic ending to otherwise a really good defense by the Clone Trooper army here. But, yeah, the top bit did not last long. I'd say still probably like 200 droids left alive. Red are dead clones. Yellow are dead battle droids. Clones did an amazing job up until that point and then just faltered and failed if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below remember to go check out warfare gaming link in the description below appreciate him sending me this map absolutely incredible how about that machine gun defense though that was so crazy all right guys i'll see y'all in the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.